They were the first mainline locomotives, diesel locomotives, used on Victorian railways. Hi, this is Marlon from Hearns Hobbies here in Melbourne. I just wanted to talk about the uh, new B-Class locomotives from Oscision. So these are HO scale locomotives, uh, representative of the B-Class locomotive built by Clyde Engineering in the early 50s, I think 52 to 53. They were the first mainline locomotives, diesel locomotives, used on Victorian railways. And uh, these have just arrived, brand new tooling, brand new design, and I just want to go through and show you a few of the different models and some of the features. Uh, so on the track here, uh, we've got Harold W. Clapp. Um, he was a, he was a um, chief, of, chief of commissioners, I believe, uh, for Victoria Railways back in its early days. So it was a very important figure um, within that company. Um, and they dedicated a locomotive to him. So this is in the classic Victorian uh, rail uh, blue and gold. Nice Art Deco sort of inspired design. And you can see the, the fine mesh grille detailing on the side. Um, windscreen wipers, there's a lot of really fine detail, very accurate. Uh, even the Herald Clap uh, brass plates on the side. And then a few other paint schemes we have are the, uh, the Vic Rail, as they call it, the teacup. And this existed in that brief period between VR and V-Line. Uh, they painted up these in the middle to late 70s and then by the early 80s they moved on to uh, V-Line colors. Uh, the Murray Lander, that was, um, that was part of West Coast Railways. It was a, a tourist train that ran in South Australia in the late 90s to early 2000s, I believe. And they went for a nice, uh, quite aesthetically pleasing Art Deco inspired design scheme, which suits the locomotive really well. I'll put that one down. All right, and then moving on to what would have been commonly seen in the 80s and 90s, the V-Line scheme. So this carried on from uh, Victorian Railways and the Vic Rail teacup. Um, and until somewhat recently, this is how a lot of these locomotives looked. And this is a particularly special model that was part of the 2016 Streamliners um, get together. There was a, I believe it was in Goldburn, New South Wales, they had a, a large fleet of remaining streamline, you know, B and S class and A class locomotives all together, and this sort of helped commemorate that event. Uh, Bernie Baker is what this one was called. So these locomotives are available in both DCC uh, with sound, and they're also DC uh, D with DCC readiness. So you just have to install a decoder. And we'll just demonstrate what the sound and, and DCC equipped locomotive is like for you. Uh, so we'll go into the startup sequence. And that was a startup. You've got headlight control. Horn. Well, let's get it moving. go the other way. So there's momentum built into it, so if you go up the throttle, it takes a long time to build up speed. And it takes a long time to slow down to a stop. All right, and that's a, a close look at Oscision's new B-Class locomotives here at Hearns Hobbies. Thanks for having, having a look with me today.